Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will take a look at Good Guardians here in 2025. Now Good Guardians is a application that is made by Samsung for Samsung. It's comprised of different modules. They're mostly just tools that would enhance performance as well as monitoring. And it's a little similar when it comes down to Good Lock. So Good Lock is a application, again, made by Samsung for Samsung. But these modules here is a way that you're able to fully customize your device, the look and the feel. So Good Lock is to customization as Good Guardians is to tools for battery performance and a few additional things. So you have Battery Tracker, your Battery Guardian, the Galaxy App Booster, Thermal Guardian, Memory Guardian, and Memory File Guardian. Now this application, you are able to download it in these countries only. From, from the last I knew, it was the United States, Europe, Vietnam, South Korea, and China. Now, if you're a part of any other country and you're able to download this from the Galaxy Store, let me know in the comment section below. Now, before we dive into each of these individually, because they are modules, you're able to tap on each one, you're able to go through its tool and, you know, just kind of optimize your device. So battery tracker, it lets you know the usage of applications within a day or a week, depending on which you, you choose. And from then on, you're able to notice which application is, is taking up or consuming the most battery. When it comes down to the battery guardian, it detects the bad app behaviors and does not allow them running on your device. For the Galaxy App Booster, this one is able to boost up the app's performance and it does that by transferring executable files of each app to boost them up. Then you have your Thermal Guardian. It offers a way to track and manage the device's temperature. It provides solutions to detect source of heating like the excessive battery, CPU usage, and more. And then you're also able to adjust the thermal threshold, threshold level to adjust performance and adapt to your personal use. You also have the Memory Guardian, so it offers a way to track the device's performance based on memory usage and then provide a function to clean up the memory to increase the device's performance. And then for the Media File Guardian, it offers a way to delete hidden files for edited versions, so it provides a solution to clean media files that have stopped working. First up, let's take a look at Battery Tracker. So this is just another way to take a look at your usage on your phone. This green line, this one is my battery level. This right here, the orange lines, those are the screen on times. On the left is the percentage of the phone, and on the right is minutes. Now you'll notice that it only goes up to 40, which really should only go up to 30, but each of these two lines here, one of these indicates for 30 minutes. So right now we're looking at my usage with my applications and everything else from two o'clock to three o'clock. So that means that this first line is from two to 2.30, the next one is from 2.30 to three. And you can see how much time I've used it, which was almost the full entire time. At that point in time, I was playing a game, it was Whiteout Survival. So this is something that is out of the ordinary. There happened to be a event today that I was looking at my phone for a ton, just having it run in the background, touching things. And so this one is a little abnormal for me, uh, but I wanted to show you what all of this looked like. Then you can take a look at it from the battery usage over to the active time. So you can just take a look at however you would like, active usage or battery time. This one right now is the last 24 hours. And this one is the last seven days. So this right here is just the battery usage. You can move this over into active time. So for the last seven days, my active time on Whiteout Survival was 12 hours. Instagram was five, Zen Idol was five. Uh, this game right here was two. Facebook was two and a half almost. And then scrolling on down, you can just see you know everything all broken down. So that's the cool thing about Battery Tracker. Now for Battery Guardian, uh, you can do your app power saving so you can optimize battery draining apps to extend the battery life. So if there is applications on here that is draining a bunch of your battery, it'll just do a uh, uh, app power saving for it. You also have network power saving so you can extend battery life by applying a network power saving mode for each application. You also have power saving during bedtime so it extends battery life by automatically optimizing and limiting the performance during your sleep. And I set my sleep from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m the next day and then on the bottom these are suggestions of what you're able to do so adaptive brightness i already have that one turned on so i don't need to have that one turned on my mobile hotspot is turned off my always on display is turned off video mode i have it set up as normal so for the ones that are check marked it's letting you know that you can make changes here so i can switch it back to the uh, full hd plus to extend the battery life because i'm on the qhd plus i can also change this one to 60 hertz rather than the adaptive you know 120 my screen out time is more than two minutes. So this is giving you suggestions of what you can do. And you can just do a one button press to do all of this if you'd like to extend your battery life. 
Next up is the Galaxy App Booster, and it's a way that you're able to just boost all of the applications that, that's on your Samsung phone. So you can either do it with all of your applications or just the ones that you have used within the last 30 days. So it'll improve performance up to 15%. So some applications may be restarted and your device may heat up during the optimization period. So I will be doing this later on, but it's a way that you're able to optimize every single application on your phone, or at least the ones that you have used in the last 30 days. And so this is just letting you know how long it'll take for it to do the whole optimization. So I'm gonna do this at the very end of the video. So it's not during the video because I do want to finish this whole thing out. Next up is Thermal Guardian. And for this one, if you wanna learn just a little bit more, you can tap a little question mark. So you can drag the slider to control thermal threshold. If you choose a lower threshold, your device can prevent overheating and protect the device from heat. If you choose a higher threshold, your device can keep performance to higher temperatures, but you will notice that the temperature is still, again, going to increase. So if I want, I can just bring this down. I'm going to apply it. So this way uh, I don't want my phone to keep running and going hard at performance if it is getting hotter, you know, with the device temperature. So this is where you can take a look at just a few things. You can zoom in, you can see, you know, high battery con you know, consumption. You can see that it is my whiteout survival. So you can just see what all of these things mean. So you're doing like a little uh, pinch to zoom there. Here's your CPU usage. You can do the exact same thing. You can zoom on in and you can see that my CPU isn't even getting the 50% ever. Uh, I think this is closer to maybe 38. I don't even think it's even at 40. Maybe it is at 40, but either way, you can tap on this and you can see exactly what is happening, uh, what is going on at this point. So, you know, several different applications running. I also had music being played as well too when I was playing this game. Uh, so yeah, the, the Thermal Guardian is a fun one to take a look at. And then a big one right here, which is Memory Guardian. It's a way that you're able to enhance your performance by getting rid of cached memory or cached data. So there's uh, all this data right here with all of these applications. So total used is 8.6 gigs and I can clean up 5.7 of them right now. As you scroll on down, if there's some of these that you don't want to get rid of some of that cache or some of that memory, maybe there's a little bit of details inside of a certain search or text message or something, then you're able to simply just deselect it. So right up over here on Chrome, there is a few things that I want it to stay there. So it's easier for me to just kind of work through. So some of these you can go through and uh, uh, you can get rid of all of those other applications that you don't care about as much. Uh, you can get rid of all of that cached memory or data. Now there are some towards the bottom that you cannot even select and that's because it's dealing with your systems, your Samsung One UI home and Samsung wallet, your phone services. So a lot of the most important things are down here on the bottom that is not going to delete its little memory or cached data. You can also take a look at your history so you can see what is being, you know, what is available, what is cached, what is still running, what is part of system, and then you can also customize it. Uh, now, when you go back to this monitor area, you can exclude applications. So if there's some applications on here that you 100% don't want them to clean up, you know, fully entirely, then you're able to go through and you can select these ones. Again, this is another one that I'm gonna take the time to take a look at these applications. And I'm gonna do this one after the video, but this is where you tap on clean now and you're getting rid of a lot of that stored memory. Now, when we're talking about memory here, we're not talking about actual files. We're talking about the memory or the information, the autofill type stuff that is a part of your applications. So there might be a few applications you might have to re-log back into, or some of the applications where you have a few, you know, customizational things, some of those will be gone. Uh, it's just a way for you to kind of start fresh with some of those applications, but it's a way to clear a lot of memory on applications that you might not really use on a daily, weekly, or even monthly basis. So again, go through this one, take a look at every application, the ones that you do use all the time that has a lot of details in it, you know, even though it can, yes, um, clear a lot of memory and, and give you a better boost of performance. There's some of those that you want to keep in there. So get those things deselected exactly like I will be doing. And then lastly is the media file guardian. It kind of shows you just everything. When you take a look at all apps, it's gonna show you all the pictures from every single application. So if you have pictures from Pokemon Go, it's gonna show it to you there. If you have pictures from Adobe application, it'll show it to you there. Pictures from your camera, pictures from uh, download or pictures from YouTube, whatever. It's gonna show you everything and it's gonna be all categorized. Also, you can take a look at some of the original files for edited versions. So there's 26 files in here, pictures or video, where I edited it and I wanted to keep both versions. So if I kept the edited version, which is probably the one that is showing on my phone, 
uh, it is still saved the original in the background. This is where you can find it and just get rid of those originals and keep the edited versions. And then along the bottom, it'll show you if there's any images that is missing a date. So that means that, you know, these pictures here are from YouTube. I tap on the image, I download it, and then I share it on Twitter and such. So that means that I didn't take this image with my phone, which normally your phone will put a little metadata on there, letting you know which date you took the picture of. So these are the days that I downloaded the images from YouTube onto my phone. And because they are missing the date, so if I tap on this image right there, you can see that there is no metadata for the date. It's just because I downloaded it, I didn't take the picture. I can just go through and if I want to, I can tap on them and I can apply those dates and add it as a metadata to those pictures. So if I want to go through all my pictures by a certain date, now I can actually find those images with that date. So yeah, you do have your media file guardian. You can also scan media files. So if you want to go through and make everything uh, all up to date, I did take a screenshot of me doing it. So I synced all of my media, I synced everything. So when it is done, it says check invalid media files and sync missing files of media database. So this is what it looks like if you were to hit this button there of scan media files. So. Here is the good guardians here in 2025. This is all of the privileged tools that you're able to use uh, to kind of boost the performance of your phone in several ways from the heat to the memory to the battery. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.